Hey man, if you love my YouTube channel, then you will really love the Wavy Seals Elite. The Wavy Seals Elite is a membership group that offers you way more than you can get on YouTube. Not only do you get one-on-one -on -one communication with me at least once or twice a week through our live lessons, Q and A's, but we also have multi-track practice sessions, two-track practice sessions. I'll be bringing along other experts because I don't know everything. So every month we have monthly masterclasses where you get to learn from an expert in the field. We give each other feedback on mixes and help each other problem solve issues in the studio. As a member of the Wavy Seals Elite, you'll also get access to an amazing community of audio engineers and producers who are all learning and building with each other. There's two membership opportunities for the Wavy Seals Elite. You can choose monthly or annual membership. If you're ready to take your skills to the next level and really grow your career in audio production, the Wavy Seals Elite is what you're looking for. Hey man, y'all ready to see the sweet gear that Sweetwater hooked me up with for the Married to Music podcast studio? Don't worry about the sound. I'm still waiting on those panels to come in. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if you don't know yet, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So what you waiting on to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, tell a friend, call your mama, and tell her, hey, yo, this that heat. The Married to Music podcast is coming back, and we're coming back better than ever. Sponsored by Sweetwater. Shout out to my guys, you know. But if you don't know yet, Sweetwater is the best place online to get gear. Whether you're doing a podcast, whether you just need a guitar to play in your bedroom, interface, studio stuff, anything audio, anything musical, you can find it on Sweetwater.com. Now that's it for the commercial. We are gonna get to what's actually in these boxes. Now this box right here, this got some heat in it. So we ain't gonna open this one up first. I know y'all thought y'all was, man. We're gonna put this one to the scissor. And let's start here. All right. In this box here, man, I got one of the pinnacle pieces of a, uh, of a studio setup, any studio setup, but more specifically, this one is great for podcasts and any type of broadcast that you might wanna do. Let me just go ahead and pull out the box so y'all can see what's going on. Boom, all right. So what do I have here, man? You see, I have a Gator Frameworks professional desk mounted broadcast slash podcast microphone boom stand with the on-air indicator light. Yeah, man, it's got a little light right here at the top that's gonna light up whenever you on air. That's pretty tight. So I got four of these to go with the four very special microphones that I am gonna be using for this podcast slash broadcast man so let's check those out actually let me open this up for y'all man because what's an unboxing this mug hot what's the well i don't know what that means look i promise you i it's, it's ain't hot man <laughs> so there is some assembly required so that's why i didn't really want to get all the way off into this uh, but let's just see what's in here man so it comes with a cable right you got the gator frameworks cable Man, Gator Framework stands are quality, like I, and that's one thing, you putting your quality microphones on it, you don't wanna go grab one of those $15 microphone stands and put a $500 microphone on it. That ain't, it's not gonna add up for me. So, um, over here we got our clip. It's gonna be the clamp, actually, to attach the uh, stand to the table, okay? Um, and then we got the stand itself, packaged up well. Oh, we got some more hardware in here. Okay, we're gonna see what all these different pieces are, but again, I'm just wanna show y'all what's in here. But this is a microphone boom stand, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really too, too much to go into. You see that it got a little section right here. This is gonna be that LED light. I like that G, man. That's kind of fire right there, right? You got the little chrome that's gonna be hitting, and when that's lit up, it's gonna be, uh, you know, that's gonna be tight too, man, because you know we like them lights. We like that good light. All right? It's got a 
little switcher right here to switch on and off. And um, I think it does different colors as well. So you can not only go on and off, but you can change uh, colors on what you want the actual LED light indicator to be to match with your background, your foreground, or whatever ground you might be covering. All right, so I'm gonna sit this all to the scissor because I don't want to lose none of these pieces. All right, now I got some other Gator Frameworks mic stands too. Let me guys clean this off. I'm gonna pull one of these out. So for part of the podcast studio, we're gonna be like in this desk, typical podcast broadcast desk style format. But for the other sections, we're gonna be on more of a late night with wavy style, <laughs> you know what I mean? So but we're gonna be chilling on the couch and chopping it up in more of an intimate setting. So for those, we can't use the table mounted uh, mic stands. So we went with the Gator Frameworks, you know, some basic uh, mic stand, heavy duty tripod mic stands with the telescope and boom. Uh, again, we got four of these joints because you just can't go wrong with the Gator Frameworks mic stands. They work really well. I actually love these a lot. Cool. Y'all tired of hearing about mic stands? Y'all wanna see what else we got? Let's get into it, man. All right, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. <sighs> Here's the glory box, man. This is the big box that, that y'all want to see what's popping in here, man. So um, if you went shopping with me um, when I did the live on YouTube here about a week ago, you saw that I picked out a few items, man. Whew, right off the bat, we can see some beauties right here, man. We got one, two, let me, matter of fact, let me move it. Oh, oh, y'all ain't see that. I'm gonna move this over to the side. Stack these up, man. This is, this is an audio engineer flex right here. Okay. Studio flex, okay. That one ain't even in the shot, but I teach you how to stunt. You know what I'm talking about? Get my big head right there. All right, cool, thumbnail action. But yeah, we got one, two, we got one, two, three, four Shure SM7B's legendary recording microphone, beautiful for broadcasting. Um, yeah, if you look at the top broadcasts in the country, in the world, a lot of them are using Shure SM7B microphones. I couldn't think of a better microphone to kick this, or to re-kick this podcast off with. Um, of course, with the SM7B, in order to get the best sound, low noise, um, we're gonna need to, boost our signals up a little bit. So no SM7B is complete without cloud lifter. And so we have four channels of cloud lifter for the four SM7Bs that we got, man. They're gonna be sounding beautiful. And of course, we're gonna need a whole lot of cables. And these are the Sweetwater Pro audio cables, man. These cables are actually great. You do not need to go out and get all these gold plated, Mogami's, all that, man. I'm telling you, for the most part, you're not gonna notice any difference except in your bank account. That's what you're gonna notice the difference, all right? Um, cool, so we got the big tower of SM7Bs. I'm gonna take these down because I'm kind of scared of having them stacked up like that. We got the tower of SM7Bs. We got four channels of cloud lifter. We got a bunch of cables, man. And that's not even the best part of what we got so far, man. So, what else? They, got, they gave me all this, and they, this is the bag of candy they gonna give me? Come on, man, look at this, man. This is despicable. Y'all supposed to give a bigger bag of candy when you get all this gear, man, but it's cool. Who want this candy? All right. <laughs> My man's got sniped over there. This podcast studio is just not gonna be complete without an interface. All right, hold on, man. Got goddamn crackling paper. I should never gave him this candy. Y'all done with the candy? <laughs> Quiet on the set. Hey, man. My official Avid user certification course for Pro Tools is now enrolling again. That's right, you probably missed out on the first one because there are limited spaces available so that I can give one-on-one -on -one attention to every single student. If you're ready to really learn your DAW, stop fumbling around inside of Pro Tools and go ahead and get you a tangible credential that can prove your skills in the workplace and to your clients, this is what you need to do, man. Sign up right now. All the details are in the description below on how you can take a class with me to get Pro Tools certified. 
don't wait. Just like the last term, this class will fill soon. If you are even considering getting your Pro Tools certification, there's no better way, not a funner way, not a cooler way to get certified than with your boy Wavy. Drop down in the description right now, click that link and register because you don't want to miss it again. All right. <laughs> This podcast studio would not be complete without an interface, man. And so I was doing some research, browsing around, and I landed on the Tascam Mixcast 4. If y'all remember back on the, uh, the older video when I was doing the live shopping, I had one choice in mind already, but I ended up changing, man, just because I wanted to try this offering out from Tascam, and it seemed like it had a better looking LED screen on it to me, right? Um, so let me just, actually, I want to see this thing in person, but if just looking at the box right here, you can see we got the faders. It has four, um, four channels of mic input with, uh, uh, what you call that, phantom power. Uh, we got four independent headphone controls. We got pads that we can load up samples on. Actually, that's pretty dope too. And um, all kind of dope stuff. And you can record directly to an SD card. So this is very portable. You don't need to have a computer or anything like that, but you can also hook it up to your computer and run it as a USB interface and, and have all your signals recorded in separately, which again, is pretty dope. So uh, of course, a big uh, user manual. Okay, let's see what they give us in the box. Okay, it's a weird box. <laughs> What is this? This seemed like a USB cable. Okay, oh, okay, I see what we got going on here. Uh oh, good thing I need that. But this is basically, this is a USB-C uh, cable and then they also have your uh, adapters for if you are in a foreign country and you need to uh, you know, change what kind of uh, ports you're using, okay? But this is our USB-C cable. It's gonna connect to the computer via USB-C. Okay, and what else do we have in here? All right, and this also uh, a power cable, all right? So we got a little power cable right here. That's all that is, a power adapter. But here's the unit, here's the star of the show. This design is pretty sleek. That unit right there, that's beautiful. Look at that, look at that big old screen on there. That's a big old touch screen on there. You got eight pads that you can program with uh, different samples that you want to, that you can trigger, okay? You also can do marking, all kind of stuff. I gotta figure this out, but I love the independent headphone control. We got faders, right? These faders feel like they are motorized too. They feel like they have a motor on them, so. I got to dig into my manual and see about that. But this is the Tascam Mixcast 4. Let's take a look at the back. Ooh, you see what you got there? You got four XLR inputs. Okay. You also got line inputs. You got a, a, a phone input, TRS, TRRS. Okay. You got monitor, left and right outputs. You got your USB. You got your SD card slot. You got four headphone outputs out here on the back here and you got your power, and it's a threaded, if you can see that, it's threaded power, which is dope. I really like when um, they put threaded power on um, devices. That way, you don't have to worry about your power getting pulled out accidentally, somebody trip over the cable or something like that, or it's just some of the times the power just be really flimsy, so I'm happy they included that. Um, they have another slot for headphones right on the front, so that, you know, I guess for the mixer, if the mixer is somebody different, then you can have uh, your headphones right there. Why everybody else, the guests can have their four independent, independent headphone outputs. You got Bluetooth connectivity. You see, I can set the le le level of my Bluetooth. Uh, man, I got the level of my, uh, my pads and all of that. So this is actually super dope. Any more controls on here? Super dope, looks very clean, very professional. Um, and it feels like a tank, man. Some stuff you get and it feels like, all right, what the heck is this? This feels like a professional piece of gear. Um, we got one more thing to open up, man. This is, 
really a great start for the podcast studio, but I got something that's even doper coming too. So let me show you how I make some room for the next guest. So this guy right here, I'm gonna have to open up. Oh yeah, let me see that. Eric gonna have me a handy dandy unboxing. And his life. kids don't play with these at home, you know. But well, we're gonna go ahead and open that up. But this right here, this is the piece, honestly, that I'm most excited about. You're gonna see why. Let's get it open. Hi, right, here we are. This is a Roland VR4 HD. Basically what this thing is, is a video switcher. It's a, it's a whole AV setup. I can connect four different microphones, four HDMI inputs, and then be able to switch them easily right here from this little device, man. Let's open up this box too. So y'all can see, man, how cold this is. I can't wait to like dive in and actually learn how to get really cold at this piece because this is just gonna take the game to another level. With this piece, I'm gonna be able to do a lot more streaming multi-camera setups, be able to switch them back and forth. It would make this video actually that I'm recording right now for y'all, it would make it a whole lot easier if I had already did this, but I saved the unboxing just so that I could uh, do it with y'all, all right? I'm gonna keep this a thick user manual. Look at it. You could kill a fly with that, all right? So I'm gonna keep this one to the side for sure because I'm gonna have some studying to do, all right? We got a power cable. Okay, here's the connector to go to that. That's all that is, little connection, right? Ooh, ooh. This joint, this joint got me excited. Another heavy duty piece, another uh, super super portable piece. When, you word, when you're doing AV, right, with podcasts, you never know, I might not be in the podcast studio all the time. I might be on the go. I might be working with a client doing corporate podcasts or stuff like that to where I need to bring the setup to them. Having your gear portable is gonna be so crucial for that so you don't miss a moment. You don't miss not one opportunity, right? So here we are, the Roland VR4 HD. Here we go. Let me just take a look at this joint myself, man, up close and personal. Okay. So we got our audio. So it's kind of similar to this, uh, uh, similar to the Tascam unit, except not only does it allow me to mix my audio, but it also allows me to switch video pretty easily. Right, and you got fades and transitions, how you gonna do. You can also choose your composition right here. All right, let's take a look at the back, see what kind of controls we have on the back. Okay, so if you see, look at all those HDMIs. Man, I'm trying to look at it too with y'all, all right? So we got HDMI inputs. Let me make sure they're lighting right. Yeah, we got inputs, one, two, three, four HDMI inputs. You got a PVW out. I think that's your, that's your preview out that you would take that directly to your monitor. Um, and you have an HDMI output as well. You got all your audio inputs on the side. All right, this is where I will have my four combi jacks. And let me see that light, it's kind of dark. There we go, I got my four combi jacks on the side. What else over here? Okay, you got the phantom power switches. You can switch them between uh, one and two, three and four. You can change which channels have phantom power. And you, just, you got a lot more controls on here. If y'all wanna see me do a full review of the Roland, VR4 HD, let me know. And they have a, another model that's more affordable uh, like this too. It's, it's just a little slimmed down, a little bit fewer controls, but gives you so much more functionality. I think the other one just don't have a touch screen uh, display that this one has, but that's definitely a, a, a option, all right? Um, I think that's really uh, it right now, man. I got a lot of new gear to learn, a lot more stuff to unbox and unpackage and get down with. So. I'm excited about the podcast. Make sure y'all go ahead, click down in the description right now to subscribe to the podcast. I got some stuff coming up for that that's gonna be super dope. Leave us a review too on uh, Apple Music, right? If you can go to subscribe to the podcast on Apple Music and even leave a review there, that would be super dope and start us off on the right foot. It's called the Married to Music Podcast. 
I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. Check out the website if you want to find some more tools to help you record and mix better and faster. Big shout out to Sweetwater for sponsoring us. And uh, y'all go ahead out there and be dope, man.